Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask on Amazon. That's right, and today we are looking at KN95s, specifically the A-Run K95, KN95. So, uh, I got some things to say about this, but let's uh, let's put it in the clamper first. All right, so first of all, this is, I can't, I can't contain my excitement. It's a soft touch box. And look, in the individually sealed masks, oh man, I mean that's, that's legit. Lloyd, if you like that so much, how come you don't individually seal masks? Great question, Lloyd. I don't have it. I don't want to. It's hard. Um, all right, so actually they're not individually sealed. It's doubled up. Um, all right, let's put it in the uh, clamper here. So this is a little bit of a different test than we've done with our surgical masks. This is specifically made for N95s or KN95s. Um, the GB2626 format is uh, a specific type of test that is done. That's good. And we will let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. You want to find out what this thing does, check out that link. All right, no one will. No one does it. While this is loading, let's talk about KN95s. Now, I'll bring this up in a different way than I normally do, just because if you go, and you can see we did actually buy this on the website, first thing they say, authentic CDC and EAU approved KN95 mask. This product is approved for emergency use in the USA. It has passed the CDC sampling test and is qualified. Ah! Sorry. Now, if you go and look on the website uh, here, you will see they come up and it says respirator models previously, or sorry, uh, the table below in includes a list of non NIOSH approved respirators manufactured in China that were authorized at the time the EAU was revoked. That's right, revoked uh, effective July 6, 2021. So the the FDA is no longer saying any KN95s are approved. No longer. Does that mean it will protect you? That's what this machine's for. I don't know. Uh, but just a little bit of a false claim there right on the listing. I just think they haven't updated it. Um, but I mean, come on, that was July. So this, is any, this and any KN95 is not approved in the United States any longer. Let's look at the uh, box now. Okay, so I do like the box. Soft touch box, KN95. This is the GB2626. It's the old uh, format, a dash 2006. When you see that at the end of a standard, that's the year that the uh, standard was made. The most updated standard was 2019, so this one's a little bit old, which is actually very common, I find. I'm looking and seeing if they have any claims on here. Made in China, storage requirements, single use, ear loop, great box. Individually packaged, how many is in this guy? 20 pieces, 20 pieces, 10 packs, that's great. You can put it in your fanny pack or something like that. Um, pretty basic design. Another thing to look out for is you wanna make sure that it says the actual standard on any KN95. It's gotta say the manufacturer name. It's gotta say KN95 and it's gotta say GB2626, and then usually 2006 or something, I know. I'm fun at parties, I make that joke. Um, if it doesn't say those things, it's probably not an actual KN95, and then it probably won't protect you, um, but not in all cases. Uh, so, pretty good, I'm gonna do the test here. Oh, okay, that's not good. I'm gonna have to open a couple of these up. Um, you know, sometimes like, I think that that actually might jump off your face if you, if you put it over your ears. Let me try it again. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's not good. These ear loops are not good. All right, I'm not gonna try anymore. That's, that's gonna come off on your face. Let me put this on. Ah! That ear loop is shorter than that ear loop. That's funny. And it's huge. For Americans, I get it. <laughs> I feel like I'm being judged, but whatever. This is the largest KN95 I've seen. So if you have a larger face, uh, this would be great for you. Um, yeah, it's, it's uneven though, because this ear loop's smaller. I call them Nemo ear loops. Think about it. Let's do the uh, smell test. This smells uh, like a Chinese KN95 no longer authorized in the United States. I'm being petty, I know. Um, the nose wire's 
pretty good though. I like that. It is a little scratchy here sometimes when they do the uh, the construction when they're when they're doing the the welding it gets scratchy right there. So I don't love that. And then I'm going to try to yeah see that just came right off. That one side is not very good. That did really hurt. I think this might actually fall off when you're using it. Um, all right. Well, I think that's all I got to say about that. What does the PFE machine say? Because yeah, maybe the FDA is saying don't use this. But does that matter if it actually does protect you, right? I mean, at the end of the day, survey says, oh, wow, that's awesome. I mean, that's a great result, 99.895, 99.895. And I'll do the report to figure out the actual breathability. And breathability is 95.3. That's amazing. For a 98, 99, for a 99 result, that's great fabric. Great fabric on this mask, amazing fabric. I think this might be the best fabric that I've ever put in this machine in terms of breathability and uh, filtration. Wow. Um, ear loops, not great. Uh, and uh, yeah, lying to you about being on the EAU. That's just, you know, whatever. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If you end up buying these masks because you like this review, um, give me a like or subscribe or don't. I mean, you could always steal my car, you know. Grand Theft Auto, that's something you're into, you know. It's illegal, but, you know, go ahead and do it. If that's what you want. It's a free country, except, you know, stealing cars. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next test. <laughs>